I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use scheduled mems to conduct a weekly review. And make sure you check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. What I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to use scheduled mems to conduct weekly reviews. And there are a couple of different ways you can do this. The nice thing about this is that it's incredibly flexible. You can put whatever you want inside of this weekly review. So for example, if you have key projects that you want to review, you can do that. If you have tasks that you want to be reminded of, you can put those in here. The main thing to keep in mind with scheduled mems is that because of the fact that you can't specify one specific date and they only happen on a weekly basis at some specific time or on some specific day at some specific time, you want to use them for the things that you're going to do pretty much every week. And I think the best way to use this is with weekly reviews. The example that I'm going to show you is actually from Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain, where he had a second brain weekly review suggested method. And this actually was in his book. And so what I did basically was just create a bunch of tasks based on those ideas. And so what we can do then is use this as our basis for what this scheduled mem is going to be. And like I said, you can also put in important questions in here. You can put in you know, things like, what are my priorities? You can put in a gratitude list. This can really be anything you want it to be, but it actually ends up being really useful, especially when you tag it as a weekly review, because then you can also go back and look at previous weekly reviews and easily see them. So let's actually turn this into a scheduled mem. So now that you see how it's set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, I'm just gonna copy and paste it, we're going to go ahead and go into flows. And if you go into flows, you can see here that we're going to configure this scheduled mem. And you can see here that I already have a second brain weekly review template. There's a daily mem, you know, I changed, which I changed instead of having a daily mem, I decided to turn off the daily mem because I wasn't using it. But we're going to go ahead and create a scheduled mem. And you can see here that if you want, you can use an existing template. You can give it whatever title you want. You can add any other text. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything that's there. And we're going to put the scheduled mem's weekly review example in here. And instead of putting that title there, what we're going to do is give it that title instead. So that way, that's the title that we'll end up having for your new mem. Here, you're going to choose what days to generate this scheduled mem on and what time you want that scheduled mem to show up in your mem inbox. And as I said earlier, the thing that you want to use this for are things that you're going to do on a weekly basis. So it's great for weekly reminders, but if you need a one-time reminder, it's really not ideal for that. You can actually use the mem inbox for that, but this is where you set it all up. And once you save it, starting on the next day that happens to correspond with the schedule, you will start to see the schedule mem show up in your inbox. And that is all there is to it. As always, feel free to leave questions in the comments below.